welcome back to another video and today we are reading assumptions about us basically if you don't know what assumption is it's like what people assume about you i guess make sure you like subscribe turn on post notifications so you get notified every time we post another video and watch to the end to see what happens so What's up, everybody? We back with another banger, Luciano TV. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, checking in with us. And today, we are gonna be answering your assumptions about us. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on your post notifications because guess what? We are gonna be uploading a video every single day for the next 90 days. <laughs> So let's get right into it. Yesterday, I actually posted a poll or I don't know, like a question thing on Instagram saying that we are gonna be doing our assumptions today. So a lot of y'all that follow us on Instagram um, got a chance to actually write down some assumptions. If you don't already follow us on Instagram, our Instagram is linked in the description. So make sure you go follow us there too. So do you wanna go first? I don't know what they assumed about me. What do y'all assume? What do y'all assume about me? <laughs> Let me know. All right, so. Let me know what y'all assume. What do y'all assume? That sounds like some hater stuff or something. Okay. Sound like y'all some y'all hating over there. So one of the first assumptions that we got was somebody assumes that you can get through all mental health issues because of your platform, because of you being a rapper. <laughs> no, man, that's not true. You got it wrong, buddy. Just cause I'm a rapper and got a platform. What, what'd he say? Well, they didn't say platform, but I'm assuming. I'm assuming. Now you assuming. <laughs> what, it, let me read it. What'd it, it say? It says, I assume you can get through all your mental health issues. I mean, yeah, I can get through them. I can get through my, I mean, I don't got really mental health issues. Like I ain't a crazy person. I'm guessing that what he's trying to say is mental health issues. Depression falls under that. Bipolarness falls under I'm that. I'm bipolar if you didn't know, man. Ang anger anger problems um, fall into that. I don't got anger problems. I'd be cool, I'm cool. Anxiety falls under that. Um, I'm guessing, because you know, uh, but me answering that question or assumption i want to say that um you can get through anything you put your mind to so answering that question yes we can you just gotta have the mind for it I, hey you want to get through it let me help you out <laughs> man go down to organic prime and get you some cbd oil and put a few drops under your tongue every morning you'll be all right man Gigi come in here asking me the almost off the wall questions. I hate when they come in and tell me, can she I go to the all the time. Can I go to the restroom? Yes. Can I wash my hands? I, first no. of all, I'm not your teacher and this ain't a classroom. You don't gotta ask me to go to the restroom. <laughs> especially when the camera on. I said, can I use your Can I get a snack? Can I go to the restroom? Mom, can I take a vitamin tomorrow? <laughs> the hell? Just do it. Anyways, moving on. The next one is I guess it falls under both of us because we both have a tattoo on our face. It says, I assume you regret getting your face tattooed. Mm. One, I don't regret it because at the moment I was going through a lot and- Let them know what your face tattoo is because some people think you got a boy's name on your- I've on said me. this, I've said this before. It is not no man's name. It looked like Carlos on your head. <laughs> it says Carla. I actually didn't convert today. Carla, um, my best friend, passed away. Um, and when she did, it's actually going on five years now. And so when she did, it was really hard on me because that was like my sister. Like she took all my secrets to the grave. So, oh my God, I'm about to start crying. Um, anyways, um, I don't regret it. I love having her name on me, but I guess I can say that I do kind of regret getting it on my face just because 
it just it puts a lot of judgment on me like people even if i go to the grocery store without it being covered i get you know looks so i think it's normal now it's 2019 and everybody got tattoos but i do regret regret a lot of my tattoos though not this one i like this one but like this other shit on my hand man i, I be regretting that shit it's cool sometimes but then when i gotta go to the kingston school go meet with his teacher or something then you know what i'm saying that's when i be regretting like damn i got all these damn tattoos on me so yeah if i, if I give you some advice when you're young don't get no tattoos man because you never know how your life gonna turn out you don't know what kind of business you're gonna be into you don't know, you know what I'm saying, what kind of, how you're, how you're gonna be raising a family later. You don't wanna be having tattoos all over your body, man. Well, just a little side note on what he just said. Um, yeah, a lot of people when I go to places or like whenever, you know, I conversate with people out in the social life or whatever, like even at the grocery store or restaurants, they're always like, oh, I love your tattoos. They're like, I wanna get this, I wanna get that. And I'm just like, my advice is the same thing he just said, don't do it. Because again, it puts a lot of judgment on you. At least hers look nice, nice and professional. Mine just looks like a whole bunch of mess on my arm. You know what I'm saying? This, this is done. This was done a very, very, very long time ago. Yeah, me and my homeboys was just messed up in the hood and just, you know what I'm saying? I was letting them go to work on me. They just came home from jail talking about they know how to tattoo now. So I was like, all right, bet, come on. Anyways, um, let's move on. The next one says, I assume Kelly's never been to jail. Of course we know Lucky has. Shit. <laughs> Kelly's been to jail more than me, what you mean? You guys, I have been through hell and back growing up as a juvenile. I was in and out, um, I was on probation. And even as an adult, you know, it took a while for me to get my situation together. But um, yeah, I have made mistakes in my past. It's nothing so serious. It's, not, it's nothing serious to where like, oh, I've been to the penitentiary or anything no, like that. No, but she went to jail. We went on a cruise to Mexico. When we got back, they locked her ass up. Y'all, that was like the worst time ever. I was in Cali for 30 days. And at customs, when you get <sighs> back to America, we was at, I'm still on the boat, on the cruise ship. They locked me up. They called her in the, so, they called my phone, somebody, it's Kelly Melinda. I mean, they called our, our, our room in the boat and said, it's Kelly Melinda there. It was our last day in the morning. We were already You know what they here. said? Oh, you've been selected. You've been randomly selected to not have to wait in line. Yeah. Get your bags. We're going to get you off the boat before everybody else gets yeah, off. Bet and then as are. soon as I got down there, they handcuffed me. I was very clueless about <laughs> what's going on. And I was really blaming it on Tony because he had gotten in trouble throughout her cruise. <laughs> and I was like, damn, they thought it was me. It was Tony. Whatever. But um, shout out to Tony and Angie. Um, but yeah, I, I had to go through a lot after that cruise. So if you have warrants, if you don't go on no cruise, if you, you got some warrants, if you have anything warrants. that you have to fix legally, um, yes, make sure that you get all that cleared before you leave the country. Because so, when you come back, they're going to stop you and be like, whoa, halt. Yeah. So your assumption was wrong. Your assumption was wrong. They've been wrong about all these assumptions. Somebody said, I assume Lucky raps while using the restroom. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, I don't rap using the restroom. You know. I don't even rap like, I, man, I told y'all I, I used to rap all the time when I was young. And now I just rap when I have to. You know what I'm saying? I, when I rap when somebody's paying me to do a feature. That's it. I really don't rap all the time. Like, I, I used to rap all the time, all the time. But I don't really do it like that. Fun fact, Lucky does not like to hear his own music when I'm around or the kids are around like he's like turn it off like turn it off like I don't really I don't even listen to my own music when I'm in the car he's like he's a I, completely different person like he like when he gets in rap mode he's like a rap mode but as soon as he sees my face it's like it changes because when I'm in rap mode I'm in beast mode man I'm coming to kill everything you know what I'm saying I'm coming to kill everything moving and when I'm around my family <laughs> that's not the mode I'm in you know what I'm saying I'm in family mode so but I'm in my rap mode, that's different. All right, this is a juicy one. And um, honestly, it kind of bothered me that y'all are assuming this. What? Um, it says that they assume that I love my children more than I love yours. Oh, you're wrong. I'm gonna tell them. First of all, I consider each and every one of these kids my own. Second of all, 
I don't know why you assuming that. Like, you guys, y'all see how much love I pour onto this whole entire family, starting from Houston all the way to Kingston. So y'all need to just sit down some more with all that because that ain't the case. But yeah, well, how do you feel about that? Uh, what? What? They asked me? No, but how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? About I love all the kids the same. I mean, I love, I love all the same, man. I love all the same. <laughs> they can all kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's assuming that your teeth are permanent. They are. I can't take this out. This is each tooth one by one. This ain't a whole grill. Man, I used to, I done lost like five or six grills. You know what I'm saying? More than that. I done lost so many grills over the years by having them pull outs. Every time I eat, I have to take it out and... And I always said, man, the next time I get a grill, I'm gonna get it permanent. I ain't losing no more. On the last time I lost my grill, it was diamonds all top and bottom, diamonds everywhere I lost it. I said, next time I get one, I'm gonna get it permanent. And that's what I did. The next assumption is that we smoke. No comment. I'm I a, plead the fifth. I'm a, <laughs> I'm a law abiding citizen. <laughs> I don't do drugs. I don't uh, break the law in any form or manner. I'm a responsible parent. Next question. That's it, babe. That's it. Oh, y'all we. Oh, there's another one. Let's see. Okay, another assumption is you're low key shy when meeting people for the first time. You? Well, I both do both. Well, go ahead. Are you? No. I think it's like I'm very social, open to meeting new people. I'm, I'm always very like embrace, embraceful. Is that a word? I'm not shy at all. I'm not shy. I'm not shy when I meet people. Yeah, you. No, it depends are. who I'm meeting though. If I'm meeting, it depends who I'm meeting. If I'm meeting somebody that doesn't know who I am, and I'm meeting someone for the first time, the first time I'm meeting them, and the first time they're meeting me. No, I'm not shy, you know what I'm saying? I meet them, but it's different when I have a, I'm meeting like a fan or somebody who already has some kind of preconceived notion about me and has these already, I, and I don't know what kind of thoughts they already might have about me, you know what I'm That's saying? That's everybody though, because- No, 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 no. I'm talking about somebody who's watched my music video, somebody who's listening to my music, they might think I'm a certain type of person because of, the music or, you know what I'm saying? But if somebody who doesn't know that I do music or has never seen any of my videos or nothing, I'm meeting them for the first time, yeah, then it's, it's gonna be, it ain't no shyness about it. It's gonna be like I'm meeting a person and we're both meeting each other for the first time. But if I'm meeting somebody who's like a fan or somebody who's already knows something about me or heard something about me, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Keep out. Okay, what well changes pamper? What are you going to learn today? Y'all want to see Kingston change a poopy pamper? Well, you guys, that sums up all of the assumptions. Um... Hey, on the last video, a lot of people asked me what book I was reading. The name of the book I was reading is A Simple Path to Wealth. And the name of the app that I got on my phone for budgeting is called Every Dollar. All right, so this sums up all of the assumptions and i just want to say thank you everybody for watching we have a huge surprise coming up but before we end this video i want to give a huge shout out to kendra jackson who kendra jackson already <laughs> thank you so much for watching thank you for always commenting and just interacting with us you guys if y'all want a shout out in our next video bring them over here <laughs> way he was climbing Gigi's ladder all he was like this and he was putting his knee on the ladder and he was climbing. Oh, yeah? He's a little madman. Look, he was like this. He was like this. <laughs> like I was saying, thank y'all for engaging with Hold on, you took a s***. Yeah, I told you. <sighs> Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to end this vlog. Yeah. All right. Ah. All right, guys, so this sums up the assumptions. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank y'all for everybody that interacts with us. And also, if you like my shirt, it says, don't be a hater all your life. Make sure you go to LuchianoTV.com. Y'all, don't forget, we got a 25% discount. You got to use promo code LuchianoTV when you check in out. The link is always in our description. And y'all stay tuned. Tomorrow, we're going to have a surprise for you. I'm so excited.